video five on Real Labs Corp, small business edition. We've got a couple things to finish up in this video. Um, we need to create this remote domain controller up here, and then we need to join uh, sales Mike Johnson to the domain. Um, our last video, we did this IPsec tunnel and some switch configuration. So if you haven't seen that, you might want to go back a video. Um, but let's let's dive in. So I've got a Hyper-V machine um, that's actually kind of running this lab over here. I've got a Windows 2022 server and a Windows 11 box. Um, so let's jump over there and uh, let's take a look at that. So I do want to show one thing on the firewall really quick on the remote site firewall. I did configure a um, couple videos back, or last video, I mean. Uh, let's go to interfaces here, and we'll go down to that internal one VLAN, inter, uh, inside VLAN 100. And it is running a DHCP server. I showed that in that video, but um, it's 100 through 150. We I'm not going to configure a DHCP server on... Um, the remote DC, but I will be changing the DNS server um, to point to the remote DC uh, for PCs that are getting DHCP. Just wanted to point that out. Uh, so let's let's dive in. So we need to install Active Directory. I already have been configured. Actually, before we do that, I almost forgot. We need to do something. Let's uh, right click on network here, go to properties. And let's change the IP address. We need to assign an IP address because currently this is just getting DHCP. And we're going to do 10, just like the other server. So 10, 20, you know, 10 in one side, 10 on the other side makes it easy. This will be a slash 24. And then our preferred DNS, uh, DNS server is going to be itself. So you could do 127.0.0.1. That's fine. Actually, excuse me, I need to point that at, because uh, it's never going to find it when we do it. So let's do 10.10.100.10. We need to actually point it uh, at the uh, remote uh, domain controller. Excuse me on that one. All right, so we're going to go back up to manage, and we're going to head add features and roles. And you guys have seen this in another video, so I'm going to be a little faster on this uh, go around. But there's going to be some changes, right? So uh, role based. So we'll hit next. No, we didn't change our name. That's uh, let's let's start there. Let me pause. Let's uh, what were we calling this again? I think remote DC one. Let me change that name. Or actually, you guys can see that while I'm doing it. I thought I already changed it, but I guess I did. So remote DC one. That's correct, right? Or RS DC one. All right. It's going to want to restart here, so I'll pause and come back when the machine's up. That was quick. Shouldn't even have paused. All right, we'll get back into Server Manager here. So we'll go to Manage, Add Roles and Features. Nope, it's still thinking. There we go. And then we're going to do role-based and feature-based. And that is the server we're going to do it to. We're going to configure. And we're going to click on Active Directory Domain Services. We'll add those features. And I'm going to add DNS. And we're not going to do, like I said before, we're not going to do DHCP. So we'll leave that off. And we'll click through this. We don't need anything here. So we'll hit next again. Next, next, and install. And we'll let this go here. Take a sip of coffee. Oh, 
and it's finished. All right, so we're good there. Hit close. And then we can promote this. We can start the wizard and start promoting this to a domain controller. So let's, let's start the wizard there. And let's go through some steps. So, so we're going to add a domain controller to existing domain. So that's going to be the option we're going to want to we're going to want to choose. And that's unreallabs.local. And we are going to be Unreal Labs administrator. And you guys are probably, uh, actually, I'm just going to fucking redo this. Actually, you guys are probably seeing where I messed up. You know, it's not going to pick up that wizard there at all until we join it to the domain, right? I'm a little off today for some reason. Let's fully qualify that. So this is actually joining the domain across to that IPsec tunnel. So we, we just joined the domain, that tunnel's up. So let's do a restart here really quick. This won't take but a minute. Yeah, it was a pretty important step there. but he messes up. All right, so that's back up and running and we should be able to log in as Real Labs Administrator. We'll go back to uh, the wizard here. It should be still available, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. And we'll hit promote server. And we're going to add this domain to the existing domain. Excuse me, add a domain controller to an existing domain. And we typed in Unreal Labs .local, and We should be able to select that and we should see it. So that's perfect. And we're going to use the uh, domain admins uh, credentials. We'll hit next. And since we've installed DNS, we are, we do want that DNS server. And I'm going to make this a global catalog. Uh, we can go over some of those settings later. And the site name for right now, it's just going to be in the default site. We would want to probably split these up just because we want PCs. Um, let me roll back to this map here. We want PCs that would necessarily be in the remote site to look at this site, right? We want it to look at this DC instead of having to possibly travel over this link and look, you know, in the default site, which is, you know, DC one. So we want to keep, you know, our, our traffic as much as possible, you know, in that remote site. Uh, but for right now, it's going to be a default site until we, we create another site. I'm going to leave it. I could, we could have created a different site already, but I didn't. So, and this is not going to be a read only. This is going to be a writable domain controller. So we'll hit next. We'll hit next again. And then we'll replicate from any would be fine, but we can specify the one we want. And we don't have any other partitions, so it'll all be on the C drive. And we'll hit next again. And it's going to give us some warnings here, the things that we could clean up or that, you know, possibly aren't as secure as they need to be. But we'll hit install on that. So it's replicating configurations from the other DC and the HQ. 
and we're being signed out, which is a good sign. Should be shut down here in a second. There we go. And this might take just a second. We need to we need we do need to make a DNS change once this comes up. I want this server to look at itself, and it's secondary to be uh, in HQ one, so the Unreal DC one. So uh, log in here. And we should be able to open up Active Directory users and computers. Actually, not that. We want the one right below it. And if we expand Unreal Labs on local and we go to domain controllers, uh, we should see our new domain controller. And we can see that it's a it's a global global catalog. So that looks good. Uh, but let's change that DNS, like I was saying. Let's make a modification there. We're going to change that to 20, 10, and then we're going to uh, have it look at the other DC as its alternative DNS. And we should still have internet access through all this good stuff. Edge, yay. Yep, internet's still up and running, and then which is good. And then let's just make sure, like I just want to ping the tunnel just for just for grins. Let's just ping over there. That looks fine. And if we head over to the HQ site and we log into this DC, the main DC here, and we go to tools and uh, users and computers. Active Directory users of computers. What's up? There we go. And we should see domain controllers and we should see the same thing. <clears throat> so that looks perfect. All right, so let's finish this up. Let's minimize this guy and let's let's get this remote uh, Windows 11 machine um, fixed up. And before we do anything too rash, let's uh, let's go through this edge thing again. I want to change on the firewall here. I do want to change that DHCP really quick. And then we'll release, renew this and we should have updated DNS settings because I want this, uh, we need this machine to look um, at the new domain controller. And if we want to, we could actually, let's add 10 just in case this one's down. And add the HQ site. Make sure that took. Yep, that looks perfect. All right, close that. Let's do uh, IP config release. IP config renew. IP config all. Let's just see what we have here. All right, yep. So our DNS servers have changed. That's what we wanted.
and I apologize again for how small this is. So we need to go to domain and work group, and you guys have seen this before. Uh, we're going to change the name here really quick and restart. And I'm going to call it uh, Remote Site Sales 1. Do a restart real quick. And I don't know if we have configured or we created um, Mike Johnson. So we need to make a user account Mike Johnson for sales here. So let's jump over to... DC. Did we create a guy? Yeah, we did create a guy. So I'm going to reset his password because I'm not sure if I remember it. All right, so he is enabled. And if you want to do a quick um, replication between DCs, uh, you can do rep admin. AP, uh, so the capital A, capital P, and then lowercase ed. Whoops, I thought that was it. Oh, you know what I forgot? Sorry, sync admin. Or sync all, I mean. I don't always do Windows stuff, but yeah, I just want to fire that off really quick that syncs those to two DCs because all I'm doing is just forcing yeah that pass since I made a password change on the main DC I wanted that password change to be replicated as soon as possible uh, over to our remote DC so let's switch back over there oh looks like we've got some updates good old Windows updates so I'm going to pause I'll let that finish here all right so it's back up and let's uh Log back in here. And I just had a default name of test on this machine just to get us going this Windows 11 sales machine. Right, so let's jump back in here. maximize that and we'll go back to D domain and work group and so we have our machine renamed and we're going to change uh, the member of to uh, unreal labs dot local and we'll use the administrator account all right we're part of that domain we will hit uh, restart again. Hopefully we won't run into uh, Windows updates. All right, so we're back up. Another user. Uh, we don't want to sign back in as test. We want to sign back in as uh, Mike Johnson. So I believe that's M. Johnson. Yep, M. Johnson. So Unreal, actually it's already on Unreal Labs, M. Johnson. And the password we set. And he's creating his profile. So we're getting close here. Um, so now we've got this remote domain controller. We've got this sales machine, uh, Mike Johnson. Uh, we could fire up file one if we wanted to. And uh, let's just see what uh, share permissions. I don't think we had Mike Johnson on any share permissions. Uh, so let's take a peek at that. Um, and then let's ping around from Mike Johnson's machine. And let's see if we can, you know, make sure we can get to everything in, in HQ um, as needed. Um, which would mainly just be the servers. They don't necessarily, we'll be putting in the next video here, we'll be putting in some basic security. So we'll be doing some policy where we're kind of denying, you know, access to maybe VLAN 102 or 101. I don't know. We'll figure some some things out there. Uh, we want to configure laps in the next video, so enforce uh, the local admin uh, password on the machine, or we can make a, a local admin account. So um, you know that password is changing uh, every you know let's say sixty or ninety days. So I, I want to kind of show that in the next video. 
Uh, we can do some client firewalls with a GPO. And then we'll do some uh, switching in firewall, like I said, enhancements. Um, I think we will throw another VLAN um, into this and, and throw that Ubuntu machine in. I want to show how, uh, you know, east-west routing is looking uh, through this remote firewall instead of having it necessarily on the core switch. So this guy will be doing, uh, the remote firewall will be doing all of our routing. Uh, and then we'll have some policies in between. So we can kind of, let's just say it's a, you know, the Ubuntu machine might be a, you know, in like it's like a temporary DMZ, or maybe it's a production machine. We wanna we wanna limit access uh, to the corporate network with. So we'll be doing that in the next video to to, to round this out. Um, but let's just go back here and make sure we have connectivity. Let's just try uh, file one. Pretty sure that's what we called it. Yep, and go away. So we can get to test, see if we can open company files. So we can open company files, but we're not seeing any shares. And the reason why is since Mike doesn't uh, have access to any of those shares in there, we're not seeing uh, the actual folder. So we could um, add him really quick. And then let's see if those show up for us. So we'll go back over to uh, file one. And we'll go to this PC, and I think it was just on the root of the C drive. Yep, company files. And let's just take a look at what we had set. So sharing permissions, I believe this was pretty pretty vanilla. So he is part of this domain users group, which should give him you know change and read on that local share, company share. So he sh could make a folder in here. <clears throat> So if we if we go in here, like they definitely could make a folder, and that would be visible, you know, to the other users. I'll delete this really quick. But let's dive down into the NTFS permissions, and let's say we want him to see some engineering documents. We'll go to security, and we can see like accounting, engineering. Um, so if we add him to the engineering group and re-log him off, he should have rights there. So let's let's do that. That sounds like a good experiment. So let's go to DC1 and let's open Mike Johnson's user account and let's add him to engineering. Like it's spell. There we go. And then we can actually let's do a Let's sync that AD again really quick. Well, not that we have to, but I'm just gonna do it. Just to update his permissions. And then we'll just need to log him out and log back in. And there's our magic engineering folder that's showing up because he does have permissions to it now. So that looks good. Um, let's just ping around a little bit. Um, I mean, we know actually right now he's he's getting access to what he needs to, but let's just uh, let's just see what happens here. It's good. I'm not sure what the IP of those other ones are. No, those workstations aren't on. I think actually. Workstation 2 is on, so let's see what that is real quick. Let's just go over here. Whoops. Cindy. You're going to lock yourself out, Cindy. So that's 102.11 on the last two octets, so we'll try that. No, 2.11, is that right? Yeah, 102.11, yep. Having trouble with my numbers today. I 
looks like we're timing out, but I'm pretty sure we have access to it. Let's just try one here, just the local layer three interface. And I believe it's firewall related. Yeah, right here. So let's uh, let's just do one thing here real quick. For some testing, and this is where we'll get into that next video where we will be adding, you know, our subnets uh, to the Windows firewall. So I'm just going to turn the domain firewall off real quick. Actually, we'll just turn them all off just for some testing. And we'll fire back over to 11, and we have ping, so we have ICMP. All right, sounds great. So, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Um, not much, el mu not excuse me, not much else to do in this lab here. Um, let me flip back over to the uh, to the slide. So we finished up our remote domain controller. We've got Mike uh, in sales configured. He's up and running. So our remote site's pretty pretty solid right now. Uh, we've got connectivity all the way over to HQ and then HQ is going back. Um, so that looks good. So we'll catch you on video six where we're doing, uh, so some security work, just some basic security work. Uh, we'll take a look at those switch ports. Let's do some firewall policy. Um, I want to get that lapse done. We're going to need, uh, you know, some GPOs for some map drives. Um, yeah, so there's going to be some good stuff, maybe a windows update schedule. Um, which is in there too. I kind of threw in. So if you guys want to see anything else, maybe on that too, uh, before I get it done, yeah, shoot me a comment on this video. I'd be happy to add something if you, if you want, but I'm, we're getting really close to just a small business, basic network, uh, with a remote site, um, like not, not rocket science, super easy. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the next video.